Mr. Herman, you are a realtor. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Campson had a town home in what city, sir? In Montgomery, Alabama. And you had lived there at one point. That's correct, Your Honor. But you hadn't lived there in quite some time. This townhouse was becoming a little burdensome to you. You originally thought about selling it. That is correct, Your Honor. With what realtor? It's a realtor company based in Montgomery, Alabama. Is that the plaintiff's company? No, Your Honor. That was a different company. That's correct. OK. Somehow you got together, Mr. Herman, and it was your suggestion that instead of selling the house, that Mr. Campson rent the house through Section 8 housing. That was your suggestion. That's correct. Right. Because what kind of work do you do, Mr. Campson? I'm a computer consultant. He doesn't know about that. So I assume that you've done leasing with Section 8 housing in Montgomery before. Would that be a fair statement, Mr. Herman? Yes, Your Honor, for about 40 years. So it was your suggestion that he try leasing the house rather than selling it? Yes, Your Honor. And during that time, you said to him, your house is not going to pass inspection for Section 8. It needs certain repairs if it's going to pass inspection. So tell me about the repairs. Your Honor, he had sent me a list of repairs from the former company that he was using. They had a contractor give an estimate of $5,600. Okay, this is somebody wants $5,600 to remove and place the back door, glaze all exterior windows, paint, upstairs bath, install new tile. It needed these repairs according to this realtor. Yeah. You didn't want to pay this, so this you didn't pay. But the house needed certain repairs because you did, in fact, send Mr. Herman money to make certain repairs. How much did you send him? I sent him $1,500. Now, Mr. Herman, you say that the two of you agreed that he would pay the balance of what you spent when you presented him, I'm sure, with the paid bills, and that he still owes you some money for repairs. Yes, Your Honor. And how much do you claim he still owes you? He still owes me $2,585.49. Okay. So that all the repairs together were $4,000. Yes, Your Honor, $4,085.49. Now, I want to know, Mr. Herman, what exactly you did for the $4,085. I have a list of all the invoices. Yes, see those, please. I actually found another invoice for six hundred and something dollars that I didn't include, but I understand it's too late First to do all, that. First of all, take this, or return this to him. I don't need this. I'm not listening to this either. I'm not taking this either. I'm not taking your checks. I'm not taking this. If you've been a realtor for forty years, sir, and if you ever had a problem like this, don't bring this kind of things. So now I'm not satisfied with any of these documents. Now what you can do is show me where Mr. Campson agreed to pay you any more than $1,500. Show me. Do you have it? I do not, Your Honor. Do you have any emails? Yes, any, Your Honor. any emails at all with Mr. Herman? I have one from him and one. May I see it, please? Yes. Evidently, Mr. Herman doesn't have any. Mr. Herman, what kind of harassment are you referring to in this email that you sent to Mr. Campson? Can I see it? I'm going to read it to you. On the 13th of October, 2017, you wrote to him from your iPhone, and you said, I guess you won't learn and don't know the meaning of harassment. Maybe you should look it up and do not contact me again unless it is to send me the money you owe me. And this time, I'm looking for interest double exclamation point, see you in court. He wrote back to you the next day, but I would like you to tell me what kind of harassment you were referring to. We had a verbal agreement for him to pay me whatever the cost would be. He had another estimate of $5,600. Would you tell me what the harassment is that you are referring to in this missive that you sent to him?